welcome to another edition of Disney Trivia Live, the show in which we play Disney Trivia Live. My name is Doobie Mosley. I am the co-founder here at Laughing Place. To my left, we have my younger and far more talented son, Gideon. How you doing, Gideon? You wrote up the set that song. I did not. Yeah, that's my only skill. I have one skill. One You're really good at it, though. I'm good at that one skill, yes, but it only can take you so far. Really, what can you expect to do with your life if all you can do is program computers? Actually, that's not a bad thing to have as the only skill. Not bad at all. Uh, not, not a, no, <laughs> not bad at all, especially in our modern age. Good for a lot of things around here. All right, let's say some hellos out there. Hello, Alex. Happy Saturday to you. You want to read? Let me read. Attention, DTL Autopia drivers. This is Doobie and Gideon in DTL Control Central with an important bulletin. For your safety, do not collude with the car ahead of you. Drive safely and happy motoring. Hello, Nikki. Oh, that was a good one, Shrimps. Hello, Nikki B. I like that one. I like it. Do not cool uh, with the car. You hello, that. Gio. Like, How you doing, Mr. Gio? Hey, howdy, hey. Time for some fun today. Happy. E oh. Hoppy Easter. Hoppy. Hoppy. Uh, hoppy. 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 What's that? That's me hopping. Hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. Hit that like button, yo. Let's see. Uh, exactly. If you're going to clue, hit that like button. Hey, Tron. How you doing? Oh, excuse me. Hello. Tron. I don't know, you no. What are you doing? I'm trying to do a Tron voice. User, welcome. No, no, no. Hi, Tron. It's nice to you, Sean Connery. Hi, Donna. Hey, Bloom, you're here for the first time. I hope you hung around. I'm sorry we started a little bit late, but um, have some fun today. We're not here for the first time. time. Uh, able to tune in. What Hello, is... this time. Not for the first time. This time. Oh, 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 Hello. oh, 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 oh. This time I'm oh, able oh, to tune oh, in. Oh, 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 oh. You understand now? Uh, no, not really. Hello, Denzel. How you I doing? I understand. Don't worry. Hello, mother of Geo. How are you today? RT, nice to see you. Now this, I saw this coming earlier. Did Doobie forget about us? Really? Oh, we did not forget Doobie about you. Doobie would never forget about you guys. We started a couple minutes late. We weren't quite ready for the 7.30 p.m. kickoff. We, uh, no need to it was no need, no need to point fingers. It's a it's a it, we're team. There's no I in team. I had to take a restroom break. There's no Don't no. worry, I feel these things. Wow. Okay. No, I did not forget. Uh, let's see. Let's see we did we... not forget you. Let's just say that. And now they're speculating on why we were late. Uh, yeah, we did not have a power outage, thankfully. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, thankfully. All right. And you should get out your kazoo and sing along and send in a video of you kazooing and singing along to that. Please, Donna. Please. Please. All right. Um, let's see. Are we at that time it's yet? It's called Kazoo for a reason. It's not called Kazoo. That's the name of the song. Oh, okay. Um, let's see, what else do you, we two quizzes, but it's not time for that you can yet. keep scrolling, so you can press the Oh, there's more coming in. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, younger son, you have another, no, I meant younger than me. Not my younger, younger than me. I said my younger, more talented son. Um. There's only one son that's up there. You do the same thing, Gio. Hey, Nathaniel, how you doing? Nice to have you. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Broken Jeremiah is here. Don't you dare mention the angels to me. Oh, you're at the Elite Eight game. Oh, cool. That's that's not too shabby. Um, let's see. Oh, look who's here. That's not a Tron voice. That's an MCP voice. Tron actually. Wow, I really need the technically video in here. No, nah, just uh, it. technically. Technically, that's not a Tron voice you're looking for. That's a Master Control Program voice. Tron actually spoke normally. Thank you, Tony Betty. Thank you, Tony Betty. I know you're too many to be. I know you. All right. See, Tron said that was a good Tron voice. I trust him much more than I trust you, Nick. You Park and Tony. Uh, first of all, Nick, let me give you my sincere condolences. <laughs> Park and Drive, are these quizzes titles or your high school dating life? Uh, fun fact, I had no high school dating life. I did not have my first date until I was in college. Um, I did graduate high school at 16, but still, that's still a little bit. That's still the perfect time to be having a first date. What did you say? <laughs> I graduated high school at 15, and I was going to say that's a little young to be having a a little old to be having a first date. Then I realized you're 15, and no, no, no. 15 is far too young to have a first date. Okay. <laughs> far too young. Far too young. Um, so, I zoned out for a moment reading a comment, <laughs> and then all of a sudden it turns to be say something to be far too young. Very, very loud. Like, what did I miss? No, I think I wasn't. I think I had my first date. Seriously, I'm not even like trying to whatever you. I think I had my first date at 18, if I'm not mistaken. That's old. Yeah, which is about the right time. Uh, all, Nick, you have my condolences. The Lady Bears lost. I was hoping they would beat the Bru ah, the Trojans, so I'm very sad for you. Of course, guys. No, <laughs> basketball. Oh, man. Poor Nick. 
A stupid. Oh, what movie? I'm curious now. Let me know. Hi, Kyle. Kyle's here. Uh, 24 people watching and three likes. Hmm. Smash that like button, people out there. Come on. We're not yeah. just doing this for, for. We're doing this because we have to play the. Uh, the. Uh, That's the worst transition. What do we do? Well, okay. Like first, you go to comments because we still haven't caught up. I know, but I can't catch up. Okay. They're coming scroll, too fast and furious. Okay. Uh, we got score updates. Scooby fights for the users. Got the <laughs> robot emoji. Um. I, I gotta. All right. I think we're. Fine. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Oh. Anna. Oh, whoa, Jason Champagne is here. Church ran late, so we're going to play from eight. It's hard to play from a phone, I guess, but uh, you can do it. That's all great. I'm glad you're here. You know you're a real fan. This is not the first time that this happened. You're a real fan when something else gets in the way and you still tune in on your phone because it's DTL night. You just don't miss DTL night. Jason, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Okay, well, Rebecca, Rebecca will there be a launch within the hour? Rebecca, are you watching? We have a launch question. While we wait for that answer, let me play the rule video. Hello there, and welcome to Disney Trivia Live. We're about to start our contests, but first, let's quickly go over everything you need to know for how to play our simple online trivia game. First off, there are two screens you will need to see, this live stream and the trivia program you will use to answer. On a computer, you can just put the two windows side by side, but on other devices, you may have to use your imagination. If you're playing by yourself, you can put our show on an iPad or something and play on your phone. Or if you're hosting some trivia party with friends, throw us up on your TV and let everyone play on their phones. Oh, and not the old-fashioned type of phones. You'll need a phone that can run websites. Websites like LP Quiz! LP Quiz is a custom trivia program written by this guy for you specifically for this show. All you have to do is go to lpquiz.com and type in the four-digit code you will give when it's time to play the game. Then just pick a name and you're good to go. Now the quizzes are simple. Questions come up, you answer. The faster you answer, the more points you'll get. At the end, the person with the most points wins. But what kind of questions do we have? Let me tell you. Single select, choose one of the multiple choice answers. Multi-select, choose one or more of the multiple choice answers. Then hit submit. Unscramble, you are given a bunch of letters and, get this, have to unscramble it into a word. Ooh. Crowdsource, an opinion question will be asked. But rather than saying what you think, say what you think the most popular answer will be. Type in, a question is given without multiple choice. You must type in your own answer. Abbreviations are fine, as long as we can tell what you mean. And poll, not for points, just to get to know all of you lovely viewers better. Oh, and we have prizes. If luck is on your side, you will win your very own Disney Trivia Live Maglet. There are two ways to win. Way one, get first place. And way two, finish in the spot that the wheel, I said wheel, wheel, lands on. In order to claim your prize, just take a screenshot of your winning screen and send it to trivia at laughingplace.com. Well, that's about it. You understand how to play, where to play, what the question types are, and how to win, which leaves one more thing to do. Grab your popcorn, grab your friends, and get ready to enjoy Disney Trivia Live, where there is in fact trivia, sometimes. Uh, Kyle, actually, I'm pretty sure it's a magnet because it shows up better on camera. I think, if my memory serves me correct. All right, folks, we've got two quizzes for you guys today. Two, 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 two quizzes. Our first quiz is written by me, Doobie Mosley, mm -hmm. co-founder of Laughing Place and co-host of this very show, and it is called Drive. And our second quiz is written by me, Doobie Mosley, co-founder of Laughing Place and co-host of this show, and it is called Park. See what I did there? Drive and Park. Drive and Park. There's a theme. I tend to have a theme when I do these things. Why? I don't know. No one really cares. All right. Um, yeah, maglets are more bite-sized. Please don't. I've bitten them. You've not bitten them. You've licked them. I have licked them. You licked the magnet. I mean, I'll 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 bit them on camera. All right. So get yourselves over to LP. Oh, no, 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 no. And if you should win either one of today's contests or finish in a place as designated by the wheel of I did my best, but it wasn't good enough, you will win your very own one-of-a-kind Disney Trivia Live Maglet. Oh, did you actually look at No. Okay. All right. I got scared. Who's going to drive you home tonight? That's a car song from the 80s. 
Rico Kasich, R.I.P. All right, get yourselves over to LPQuiz.com. LPQuiz.com. R.I.P. Yeah, he's dead. Rest in peace. You're speaking words. Rest in peace is the exact same to say as R.I.P. Rico Kasich. Rip. Is that better than? Rip. 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 Is better. <laughs> LPQuiz.com, as we prepare to play our first quiz, which is called Drive, and it's all about, you know, kind of driving, vehicles, stuff like that. Which next can be... Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, spoiler alert, spoiler alert on what park is. LPQuiz.com. No, 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 it's next, it's next, first off, you just said it. Second off, is next, um, is next episode going to be uh, reverse and neutral? <laughs> no. Oh. Eh, maybe, maybe. What would reverse even be? What would neutral? Maybe low gear. 5549. Hello, Madam Leota, Sparky Motors, <laughs> Tron, Uncle Orville, A Champagne. Hey, Grandma. Hey, Grandpa. So, everyone, I'm going to let you know. There's, see right there, LMK and MDK. That is his mother. Nope. That is his grandmother and grandfather. My mother in law and father in law. So, my mom's mom and dad. Yes. And we call them Grandma and Grandpa. One little spark plug. Like, oh, that's cute. Jay Champagne is here. John Go. John Go. Well, no, it says Go, all caps. It's John Go. Uh, let's go. Uh, Master Gracie's here. Motivation. Mr. Toad. Geo Metro. Very good. Nat Geo. We had a friend who won a Geo Metro. No, maybe it was a Geo Tracker. I think it was a Geo Tracker. Um, it's the 35th anniversary. He kept that car getting on his 35th when they had the, the gift giver. He kept that car forever. Oh, ever. Was it right. the Disney 100 edition? <laughs> no, because it was it was Disney on 35th, not 100th. Oh, sorry, was it the Disney 35th edition? <laughs> we got Driving in the Rain. Uh, Paul Schnell, let's see, man. You can, see? Link them and stick them to your forehead. That's absolutely true. Don't Caitlin's that. wearing her Descendant shirt and her Olaf pants. Hope they hope they bring you luck, too. Got a hi, Grandma and Grandpa. Oh, I hear something. Oh, I hear something. I hear something I've heard before. And that is the spin that wheel for the day. So Gideon. Well, for the first spin. Grab that wheel. And give it a spin. What's a spin? Kind of like a spin. What? Spin it. Oh, spin it again. Oh, we get to pick. Uh, what's a car number? Um, the only one I can think of, do not say. Oh, you can say Lightning McQueen's number. One of them, like nine or five. Sure, we'll go with nine. So if you finish in first or ninth, you will win your very own Disney Trivia Live Maglin. I look young there. That was like, what, a month ago? Two months ago? I've ate. Clearly, I've had a rough couple of months. <laughs> I look young then. The 35th anniversary was Nikki B's high school post-graduation trip. That would have been, what, 1990? I graduated in 1990. I'm old. All right. We need one of you guys to tell us you're ready to go, and we will get started. Yeah, gee, I heard Donald's Globe's now open, too. You have to go do an updated one, so there's no script. We also have to do updated ones because, you know, they've, a lot of them have, are stuck on StreamYard. We'll never see them again. Really? That many? Not of those. But like Jeremiah's, we don't have. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Might be original mics we don't have. Oh. We can go get them again, probably, but we don't have them now. Oh, we got some ready. Ready, ready. You're ready to be old? No, you're not. No one wants to be old. All right. Ready to go, RTG. All right, here we go. We're going to start wow, this one, Giddy. I what? wouldn't have gotten this part ready to go. All right. Our chance to get in the better. Your chance to use the user interface is a poll. Today's poll is very simple. Have you ever broken a bone? More than one? Just one? Never. Or I'm not even sure. Have you ever broken a bone? I mean, I think the answer's never. You have but... never broken a bone. I have. I hope it's never. I'm actually not sure because I once got hit in the nose, and I called it a broken nose, but I'm not 100% sure it was a broken nose. So, but that's the only time. That's Otherwise, fine, Bloom. No, 53 fine. years of never breaking a bone is not bad. Like, it's a pretty common thing for kids to go through. Kyle says no, but I've broken my nose. Kyle, can you explain the difference? Is your nose a, not a bone? Is that Help not me. a bone? <laughs> hmm, I wonder why this question. Madam Leota broke her toe. 
I don't know. It's just a coincidence. Sure. Oh, it's a cartilage, not a bone. Technically, technically, it's a node, not a bone. It's a cartilage. Kind of like when you get the, the KFC, that part that's kind of white and flimsy. Not the hard part with the marrow, but the white and flimsy part, that's what the nose is. At least that's the way it was. I was a vegetarian. I'm a vegetarian now, but at least 30 years ago, that's how the chicken was. And has chicken changed? Has, has evolution changed how chicken works? Has chicken changed? <laughs> yeah, probably, to be honest. It probably has changed a little. Caitlin broke an ankle, tibula, a fibula. See, I don't even know what these things are. Is that like your pinky or something? <laughs> Schnapp just broke foot bones in his foot. You guys are a clumsy bunch of people. No, with, with all due respect. No offense intended, but we've got many bone breakers out there. Many not bone breakers. Yeah. And uh, three people who just aren't sure, which is very interesting. All right. Remember, this quiz is all about driving. Let's get going. We're going to start off with the type in right away, yet it's still going to be easy. What is Herbie's primary racing number? Just type it in. Spelling doesn't count. <laughs> Although it's a number. What is Herbie's primary so, so spelling racing does 100% number? spelling does 100% count. Well, now, if you decide to type out the letters, it doesn't count. Herbie's number, let me know. Wow, I thought this might be magical, and I am very wrong. <laughs> Someone typed it out. Yeah, he, that guy. You know who you are. You yeah. know who you are. <laughs> you can mark him wrong oh, I now. I forgot I have to mark him wrong. <laughs> Why don't you make it where it just automatically marks him wrong? And then you can, like, no, because I'm afraid I will. Well, no, so then you can override it, though. Uh, but I, I'd rather have to actively mark him okay. wrong. Uh, Typed it with the height. <laughs> All right, Irby, Irby, no, <laughs> Irby, because the H is silent. <laughs> From the uh, Love Bug movies, Irby's number is. They call him Ocho, but his number is not eight. His number is fifty-three, which added together is eight. I really thought that might be magical, and it turned out to be fitty fitty. So I am a little shocked on that one. Fitty fitty fruity. Uh. Uh, that was horrible. That was horrible. That was <laughs> All right, one down, ten to nine to go. Crazy Geo's in first place. Jay Champagne on the cell phone in second, and the Cheating Trio rounding out the top five. Question number two: Broken toe and all. Question number two: General Motors was originally sponsored by. All right, skip question number two because Doobie's an idiot. <laughs> Everyone answer General Motors. <laughs> What's it supposed to be? Well, the motion? Test track. Test track? Okay, test track. close enough. Test track. Test track. <laughs> supposed to be test track. Sad part is someone got it wrong. It's supposed to be test track. Test track is really sponsored by... I like my fake answer, too. I think I was going to fool some people with this one. Test track presented by Dole Pineapple. Wow. All right, folks. All the answers are in. Make sure everyone get a chance to get that one right. The correct answer is, of course, General Motors. General Motors was indeed sponsored by General Motors. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two of today's show. Uh, I didn't get very far, did I? Nope. <laughs> Quiz one. Question two. Do you have sponsored by taxes? <laughs> All right. Let's move along to question number three. I promise I'm going to get better. I'm still getting Apparently, that puts in Dell in the Reddit. <laughs> uh, what is the name of this car? Is this Lita, Lola, Lana, or Layla? <laughs> General Motors for that bike. Captain. <laughs> wow, Jason, that's kind of harsh, man. I thought we were, I thought we were buddies. No, no, no. That was that was the perfect level of harsh. That was the perfect level of harsh. Mm -hmm. right, okay, I should be I should be able to cut that, dish it out, take it. What is the name of this car? Is this Lita, Lola, Lana, or Layla? You can throw a Marvel question in there. Changing it up a little bit. Hey, I got a question for you guys. If you are interested in going to the Disney Ultimate Fan Event, did you successfully procure tickets or were you shut out? Let me know. Correct answer here is Lola. Her name is Lola. Jason said I'm pretty dull. No, he's saying my, yeah, he's saying. Okay. 
Lola, good job, guys. You guys know some Marvel there. Did you know that one? No idea. Because Marvel. Exactly. That's why I wouldn't know it. You've seen Ant Man. That's the only one. Okay. Ant Man, and I've seen uh, oh, what's the name of it? Oh, uh, World of Marvel on the Disney Wish, the restaurant. Oh, the restaurant. I could have had Lola. I guess um, I've seen Webster. Yes, it is indeed from Agents of Shield. Very good. Very good. Um, oh yeah, that could have been a poll question. It could. Yeah, I should have thought of that, shouldn't I, Mickey D? So is anyone saying uh, Donna want to go but didn't attempt? Um, I only know that because of the LPP. I don't think he's asking my ultimate Disney fan event question. Uh, now I have Copacabana in my head. No one's asking my questions. Oh, uh, Gio went to the queue in the last hour. Shut out there with sixty five thousand in front of me. Didn't get through, but Gio was not planning to go anyway. So. Has anyone actually answered your question yet? Um, yeah. No, no, no. There is no one who is planning to go so far. Which park's toll booth is the closest drive to the all-star resorts? Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, or Animal Kingdom? Never heard the, like, entrance is called toll booths. I mean, that's what they kind of are. Yeah. Because I've never heard them referred to that. What do you call them? Pay station? I don't know. M money money chugger? I, I think of it as an entrance. Even if it's not like the park it's, entrance. It's the car entrance. entrance. Yeah. So yeah. I think of it as like the entrance. So I want to be very specific as a location. Not where you turn, not where you walk in, but that spot where you pay the money. Wait, wait, have you asked this question? Some form of it? Some form of it. Like, but I don't believe this. You don't believe this? I don't believe this is the question I've asked. Oh, okay. yeah. I've asked some form. Oh, there you go. Schnebs got in, got nosebleeds, got seats in the nosebleed section. So congratulations, Schnebs. Way to go. Money chugger, yeah, that's what they're called. The money chuggers. <laughs> All right, let's see how y'all did on this. Of course, it is Animal Kingdom. It is uh, right up, right down, right over, right next to, right on Osceola Parkway. Just exit, get on right on Osceola Parkway. A couple minutes, you're there at Animal Kingdom. All right. Geo in first place, even though he doesn't drive when he goes to Disney World. Little Spark, Schnebsmobile. You owe and Broken Toe rounding out the top five. Question number five. I feel alive at number five. The Razor Crest is the main vehicle of what character? Got a Star Wars question in there. Boba Fett, Mandalorian, Obi-Wan, or Ahsoka? You know this one. I think I do. Okay. I think. You think. Therefore, you win. <laughs> That's not quite right. Why do you laugh so much? I'm a star. Yes, I are. Oh, no, not that song. I think, therefore, you think, therefore, you win. Have you ever heard that? The thinker, you think, therefore, I win. I don't know. Who said that? I'm sorry. You're confusing me. Is that Spider-Man who said that? <laughs> Bloom thinks it's the Mandalorian. I think it's the Mandalorian. Oh. That's my guess. That's my, my guess. Oh, is Mandalorian. Mandalorian. It is indeed the Mandalorian. Yay. Yay. Oh, Tron, letting us know this Friday is when Star Tours gets new scenes. Absolutely. Very excited about that. That's the one time where they said, you know, and because of the way we did it, we can actually change it from time to time. And they actually did it. Toy Story, they like did it at the beginning, and then I think they stopped. Indiana Jones, they never did. They were this going season. to for Indiana Jones? Maybe not. Um, the original Star Tours, they never did. <laughs> The original Star Trek, we're going to do it. And then a couple, you know, years went by. Post, what a decade? It was a decade, wasn't it? It was 87 to like 2003 or something like that. Later than three. Because the new one opened. Oh, yeah, like it was almost after new. Yeah, new one opened in 11, right? Yep. So, yeah, basically two decades later. Now, if they would, yeah, exactly. Millennium Falcon could be updated. Yeah, needs to be updated. So. All right, Geo's in first place. Question number six. Will anyone catch up to Geo? Geo trying to reclaim his throne. In what year did Mr. Toad Wild Ride close its Magic Kingdom? Was it 1998, 1999, 200, or 2001? This attraction is pretty guilty. Guilty? Not at all. Mr. Toad, you may remember it. Save Mr. Toad campaign. We don't want no poo in our park. <laughs> big deal over at the Magic Kingdom. I don't want food in my park either. That's why I put restrooms <laughs> in it. I believe that's one of the... What, that was the clear shouting. Where do we want poo? Not in our park. <laughs> when do we want it not poo? Not now. Maybe not. 
I wasn't alive for Safe Mr. Toad, Dad. You weren't? No, I was not. That's probably why they didn't succeed. You would have made sure it happened. You would have asked the question at the shareholder meeting. Do you have any plans on closing Mr. Toad's while they're doing it? <laughs> yes, we do. And then they never would have done it. You'll see. Thank you. That is all. The correct answer here is 1998 is when they closed Mr. Toad's Wild Ride at the Magic Kingdom. Uh, all right. Donna has a question. Help her out. Since we are talking Disney World's Magic Kingdom, anything extra special I might not know about to do when I go? Donna's going to Disney World very soon. So give her some tips on what to do at Magic Kingdom. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> and the Imagineers responded with the Pooh River and Lagoon Square. Very true. All right, question number seven. What, what, no, or it's forward. What's one, one absolute to do you would tell Donna? In Magic Kingdom? Just have fun. Wow. <laughs> Meanwhile, I say Tron Light Cycle Run. Slash Run. Okay. Do it, Donna. Do it. It is fun. Do what I do and ride Buzz Lightyear, but you only turn the vehicle to face where it would have faced if you were on if you had wings or Delta Dream Flight. Jeez, that is nerdy. I guess mostly Delta Dream Flight because they changed the ride layout. Yeah. Oh, she's going to all the parks. You can give other tips. Oh, okay. Ride Runner in Railway. That's a Disneyland, though. In Florida. The not as good version, but still pretty good. <gasps> Caitlin's family was the second to last car to go through Mr. Hill's Wild Ride. Wow. wow. If you guys had never gotten off, it may still be here today. Well, you can tell that works. It's, you never know. Gotta gotta do Tron. Yes, do it. You're never. You're if you, if, if you can do dinosaur before it's. Yeah. Bye bye. All right. Question number seven. Oh, another type in. Spelling doesn't count. Just type it in. What is the name of this car? What's the name of this car? I know my wife knows this one. She loves this car. Donna has not seen it in Anaheim yet. Oh, oh so definitely so do enjoy it. Let's see. Um, food and wine. Nope, it's flower and garden. So lots of good food to be had. Definitely save some space in your tummy for the food. Remy is an Epcot now. Remy is, I love Remy. Remy's, Remy's good. good. I like Remy. I like Remy very much. So, so Disney World has three tracks of Star Trek right now. Rise, Remy, and Runway Railway. Rank them. Rise. Is top. For sure, okay. for sure, top. Let me think about that last one. <laughs> the next part. Those are two excellent attractions. Mm -hmm. Man, I really like both of those. So I guess if I really like them both, I got to give it to Runway Railway because it's a longer experience. Is it longer? It certainly feels longer. It's like the same length, pretty much. Oh, they're both around five minutes. Somewhere around there. Runway Railway is a little bit better. It's not based on Ratatouille. Fair. That's true. And Runway Railway is a pre-show. Runway Railway is a little bit better. Okay. Uh oh, oh, this is a type in. I forgot about that. Thank you, Donna. Thank you. Yeah. Apparently, Donna is doing Universal Wonderland. I forgot that she did Which that means thing. Donna's going to do Men in Black Whale Attack. Look at this type in. Wow. This is crazy. I am, I am a little saddened by this. We have only three correct answers. Tell me your score, Donna, by the way. I'm in black. And we have a lot of people. Oh, look at the cheating trio. Proof that they're cheating. They all put in the same wrong answer. So that's why I saw <laughs> I, saw this. I like one person said General Motors. <laughs> <laughs> this is Susie, the little blue coupe. Perhaps you've heard of her. Wow. I am, I am really surprised. E.T. does have a great queue. I'm like so surprised I'm waiting for someone to say, Doobie, you got that Is there wrong. anything at Universal Florida you think Donna should do? Yes. Oh, without a doubt, Donna. I'm Okay, first of all, I forgot Disney World. Make sure you do Cosmic Rewind. And then in, at Universal Studios, um, Islands of Adventure. Oh, Islands of Adventure. Is she going to Islands? I don't know. I'm she, assuming she, she, she mentioned Universal. She, she mentioned E.T. and Men in Black. I'm going to say do your best to get to Islands because Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure might be. Probably is the best coaster in Central Florida. I'm shocked you didn't do just horror makeup show. Okay, well, yeah, do that too. Horror makeup show for sure. E.T., you can skip E.T., Donna. No, you don't, don't skip E.T. You can skip E.T. Don't e. skip E.T. No need to do E.T. Don't do... You, wow. can, you know what you can skip? You can skip Transformers. Yes. 
do Spider-Man, skip Transformers, or don't do Spider-Man and skip Transformers. Just skip Transformers. Skip Transformers. What about Minion Black? Minion Black? Oh. oh. If they say, here's $10, we want you to go on Minion Black, skip it. It's not that bad. Give them 20 Actually, it might be. No. You stand for 45 minutes to stand for five minutes. It is so bad. Did Geo not get that right? Wow. I am, I am shocked. Schneb's got it right. He knows his old school Disney. Oh, yes. Do Hagrid. Do Hagrid. So incredibly good. The Spider-Man. queue is great. The ride is mind-blowing. Spider-Man's okay. Spider-Man's great. Question number Spider-Man eight. Spider-Man is amazing. <laughs> Question number eight. <laughs> Who is driving the train in Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway? Is it Mickey, Minnie, Donald, or Goofy? Jason says to skip screen formers. It is so bad. For being the same right as with Spider-Man and coming later. It is amazing it is how so Spider-Man bad. did so much right. They took Spider-Man and they took everything that worked and they removed the good stuff. And only left the stuff that Spider-Man did its best to look past and still make a good ride. Caitlin disagrees. She says the best coaster is Velocicoaster. I've not done Velocicoaster. I would not be surprised to agree that it is like the best coaster, but I think I'll still think Hagrid's is the best coaster attraction. Yeah. Uh, Don is asking if Hagrid's similar to Tron. No. No. They are very different rides. And Hagrid's is much better. Much better. Much better. And Tron is good. Hagrid's. I mean, Hagrid's also has more on-ride theming. Yeah, and I don't know what you know about Hagrid's, so I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but there are many things to be spoiled on Hagrid's. Yeah. It is so incredible. Tron, there's not enough time for anything to be spoiled. Right. It's a pretty short attraction. All right, the correct answer here is Goofy. Donna? Abracadabra. Wow. Oh, wow. We have a magical question. <laughs> Write it down. Hagrid reminds me more of Everest. Um, yeah, for sure, but far better. My goodness. And that thing is so fast. It is far more thrilling to ride than it looks like it is when you just watch it. Okay, got it. I'll remember that. It is. I'm not going to fool you. It is a thrill and a half. Remember that time you tried to get the Tony to, like, like we asked Tony something about River Adventure, but to hope he'd, like, vouch for it. And he said how <laughs> River Adventure, like, still, like, takes its best way with you. And you're like, thanks, Tony. I'm, so much. I'm surprised, though. I find River Adventure, the drop in River Adventure is, like, barely more than Pirates, which is not a problem. <laughs> which is fine. It doesn't need to be. Number seven, magic question on the year. Wow. All right, so eight questions down. Schneb Mobile's in first place with the only perfect score. Way to go, Schneb. Wait, Caitlin had a zero wait time for everything but lunch, <laughs> which Mobile sounds... Mobile order, take care of that. Question number nine. Question number nine, here we go. What Disney Imagineer is best known for his vehicle creations? Is it John Hinch, Tony Baxter, Joe Rohde, or Bob Gurr? Vehicle Imagineer. Oh, don't tell me that. Mm-hmm. Just got the warning. Due to bandwidth limitations, there is a significant chance of uh, reduction in your video quality. So if my video quality got reduced, I'm sorry. I don't know why. It's because of bandwidth. They said it right yeah, there. Yeah, they, they actually told us, didn't they? Yeah. I don't know what bandwidth is, but it sounds like what? What is bandwidth? You don't know what bandwidth is? No. Wow. <laughs> I've been studying computers all my life, so I'm like you. <laughs> Isn't it like when there's like a lot of things? It, well, I mean, bandwidth is like your speed. Okay. So if it, it can be reduced by being a lower speed. It can be reduced because some kind of technical issue. Or it can be reduced because other things are sharing it and taking it away and using it. I'll be on the Lazy River 2 for Rebecca. Oh, yes. Typhoon Lagoon, Lazy River. You were really doing it up, Donna. You have a great trip. You have a great trip. You have an absolutely amazing trip. Disney Parks, Water Park, Universal. It is Bob Gurr, of course. Former Laughing Place author, Bob Gurr. That's right. He got his writing start right here at Laughing Place. Is that, is that your claim to fame? No. He hasn't made a claim to fame. All right, with one question to go, Schnabs is in first place over Geo by about 300 points. 
Then comes the trio. This is pretty exciting. One question left. It is worth 2,000 points. That's a lot of points. Things can change here. Who wrote the World of Motion theme song, It's Fun to Be Free? Was it Bob Moline, Pinar Toprak, Ex Atencio, or the Sherman Brothers? Who wrote the song, It's Fun to Be Free? Yeah, so it's been five to six years since you've been there, Donna. Uh, what else? Oh, Seven Dress Mind Train? Oh, that would have been there. That would have been there when I was there. Yeah. Five to six years ago. And Don't Miss Journey of Water, starring Moana. Yeah, you can miss that. It's okay. It's neat. If you're able to just walk on in, I'd recommend giving it at least a brief look around. It's pretty neat. You know, it doesn't take a lot of time. No wait for it. Yeah, I would not wait for it, but it's definitely worth checking out if there's no wait. Yeah. All right. Did you know this one? I know you love this song. Did you know the answer? I was between two. Which I two? I think I would, A or C, and I think I would have gotten it. Correct answer is Exitensio, another LP claim to fame. We received his very first email ever he ever sent back in the day. All right. 2,000 points. Only seven people got it right. I wonder how this will end. Well, it will end with Uncle Orville in third place. It will also end with one little spark plug in second. But, of course, it will mostly end with Drive Geo Crazy in first. Are you telling me Schnebs choked on the last question? And who finished in... Ninth? Uh, yeah, ninth. It is... Tron! Tron! Wow, so Geo and Tron, if you are 18 years of age or older, you can email at trivia at laughingplace.com, and we will figure out how to get you one of these. It's upside down. You dropped one it. of these. It's still upside down. One of these. It's still upside down. <laughs> one of these. It might arrive upside down. <laughs> Schnebs, how did you how did you miss that? Schnebs. Schnebs. What did you what did Schnebs guess? I'm guessing you guessed Bob Moline. Let me see about that. No, he went with the Sherman Brothers. Oh, I probably shouldn't say that, but he went with the Sherman Brothers. Which is a fine guess. All right, that was quiz number one, folks. Get yourselves back to LP Quiz dot com as we prepare for quiz number two it's similar to quiz number one except it's later and i didn't write down i did write down the number but i think i can have it memorized there is that it is that it is that it lpquiz.com we're going to play quiz number two it is called park it is called park and it is time to put in that pin three two two six three two two six three two two six let me tell you what this quiz is all about. It's the bear guy. So I'm going to show you a picture in this quiz. This is an all type in quiz mm -hmm. and an all picture quiz. I'm going to show you a picture. You're going to tell me what Disney park that picture was taken. That's all. I don't need to know the lands. I don't need to know the ride. I don't need to know the year. I just need to know which Disney park that picture was taken in. That's it. There is enough information in each picture to give an answer. So come on in and let's play park. We have a Bobson in here, but not Doug Dunn. Oh, that girl in the last picture, the, the, the winning girl that was from there, her name apparently. Up in Seattle where Mickey D resides. Let's see. Geo says cotton candy powder. Or, yeah. Do you like cotton candy? It's, it's all right. <laughs> Schnebs, Epcot's not your thing? You're like old school Disney. How can you not like okay. abbreviations are absolutely okay and encouraged. Remember, all that matters is make it unambiguous. You can put DL, DCA, MK, Epcot. You can't put E. You can put Epcot, MG Studios. Yeah, yeah, I'd even take MG. No. Take MGM. I would take MGM. You could have talked about the Vegas hotel. Well, no, but they may was it a picture taken back when it was MGM? But it no. doesn't matter. It's the same part. Yes. No. MGM is fine. Dak, Animal, Kingdom, not acceptable. AK? AK is fine. But you can't just say E. You can't. Why can't you say E? You can say like E85. But you're scripting though, because what other city purchase does E? I guess you can say E. <laughs> I don't know why you would. <laughs> if I say E, it would look weird, but I guess you really want to. Spin that wheel! really want to, you can say E, I guess. I just don't know why you would. Anyways, we're wheel spinning now. If you finish in first place or fifth, fifth you will win your very own Disney Trivia Live maglet. 
Loom says, this is my kind of quiz. Uncle Orville, can it be broad like Disney World, or does it have to be specific like Magic Kingdom? <laughs> park. 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 Is Disney World a park, Uncle Orville? <laughs> Is it? It's the Sea World Park, Uncle Orville. Uh, Disney. The answer is Disney. Okay, sorry. I'm only teasing Uncle Orville because I know we're tight. We're buddies. I would. I'm not rude to our our, our players, but he's just being an Uncle Orville, and you know. Okay. Mm-hmm. We are going to start the game now. We're going to start with the poll. Our chance to get to know you better. Your chance to get used to the lovely user interface written by this guy. I didn't say hello to anyone. Hello, Uncle Orville, Rai, Tron, Denzel, the trio, Grandma, Grandpa, Jellystone, very good. Where is Geo? I like Geo. Geo, you all... Geo, oh, he... oh, it looks like a mirror. Uh, Parks for Donna, Murray, Wiggle, Shinebi, that guy. All right, here we go. Nat Geo, where is Geo? Apparently, this Bloom is kind of quiz. This Bloom is very detail-oriented. Good luck with it, then. This should be a good one for you. Who is your favorite Brady male? Is it Mike, Greg, Peter, or Bobby? Sorry, I left out Tiger. Because I only have four choices. Who is your favorite Brady male? You should be able to make type in the poll. It's not only a poll anymore, it's just like, a, like an opening, like. A zero point question. Yeah. An, uh, opening question. Okay. You could tell that it's typed in, but give it zero points. Who is your favorite Brady male? I, I hate to think there might be people watching this who have no idea who the Bradys are. Like, who are these people? My favorite Brady male. What's the rear poll? Do you know what the Brady... Wait, why is this a poll? Why not? Like, what does that have to do with Park? It doesn't. Oh, okay. What did the last one have to do with a broken bone? That's a good point. I mean, the way I drive, maybe, but... <laughs> <laughs> you riding the Utopia? So before or after everyone got burned. <laughs> Madame Leota, of course, goes off the board with Sam the Butcher. He was a good one. He was always very funny. Nikki B says cousin Oliver gave her rage. He was not the best part of Brady Bunch, that is for sure. Um, I'm gonna go with Peter. I was always partial to Peter, who went on, by the way, to be a computer programmer using Fospro, something I used to do a lot of programming in. He kind of became a big wig in that area. Big wig. wig. Um, correct answer is Peter. You guys are good. Followed by Mike, Bobby, and no one likes Greg, which is completely understandable. All right, question number one, member. Look at the picture, type in the park. It's that simple. Which Disney park is this? That started off a little bit easy. Just try to get some confidence going. Kyle says, whenever I hear of Peter, I just think of Homeward Bound. Do you know why? Sorry, we're looking at the answers coming in. We have an abbreviation. <laughs> That's funny. No one abbreviated E. Good. Thanks for giving away the answer, by the way. Um, no, people could abbreviate. Someone abbreviated DL. But you gave away the answer. <laughs> well, you did. You said no one abbreviated E. Right. Just because that, that doesn't mean. Oh, I guess that's right. <laughs> I mean, then it's fine. We're moving that probably. The answer is to commit fast and furious on this one. <gasps> you all know this picture. This is a very common sight inside of this location. Instead <laughs> of the land. Epcot. Yeah, we can win the answer. Three seconds left. All right. With delay. All right. The correct answer is, of course, Epcot, the land pavilion. Recognize it now? The MetLife balloon hanging up there? The MetLife balloon? Oh, that's got the wrong head. It's wrong pavilion, too. No, the land had the MetLife um, things flying all around. Are you thinking of the wonders of life? I might be. I very well might the be. The land was sponsored by Kraft Mac and Cheese. The one of life was sponsored by MetLife. Pasta flying all around up there. <laughs> all no, right. No, no, that no. was Epcot. They do get harder, folks. Not Kraft Mac, just Kraft. Sixteen of y'all got that right. Well, what a way to go. Schneps thinks of Family Guy. Pita. Don't get that one either. Geo says World Nature, the best world. It's always in future world. <laughs> that's, that's true. Epcot is already abbreviated. <laughs> yeah, you can't abbreviate the abbreviation. That's like um, Inception. Mind blowing. What's World Nature? I only know future world. Exactly. Question number two. Which Disney park is this picture from? Do you recognize it? Where is it? I did not even say domestic park. I just said park. Disney. Uh, 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 Disney.
Mm-hmm. Oh, Caitlin, great answer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> great answer. Not the right answer, but a great answer. Wow. So, fun fact, Gideon got this one like that and got all but one of these. Mm-hmm. And not not to brag, but I also got most of the locations. Yes, you did. He was not he was not content just to give a park. He mm-hmm. said exactly where it was. I figured this would be a little bit hard. I did not figure it would be this hard. I enjoy these kind of quizzes where it's like a zoom in or something, something or a crop photo and you have to guess where it is. So this is as you are walking into not Animal Kingdom as many of you guessed, but Typhoon Lagoon. See, see that sign there? It says I think it says living the beach life, the I think. Beach life. And then beyond these trees, if I were a little bit higher, you could see it would be the wave pool. Yep. Oh, Denzel watched Brady Bunch for decades and only recently realized the entire premise of the show was which kid is having an identity crisis this week. Yeah. Um, TIL. That was my favorite show growing up. Followed by Gilligan's Island. Okay, Typhoon Lagoon That's why I watch is the correct shows. answer. Yeah. Only three. We are separating the chaff from the chaffies here. Geo. In first place, Parks for Donna, Tron. Way to go, Donna. Tron, Jellystone, and Jay Champagne. You don't have to go to recognize the swaying palm trees, Crescent Illumination. You've been to Animal Kingdom enough to know that's not Animal Kingdom. You could have seen the sign. It's the thing about beaches. Someone says Wizard Beach. That's a good that's guess. That's true. That's a good guess. What? Oh, oh yeah. stand on the walk. I cropped out people that may have given it away, too. Okay, which Disney park is this? I don't think I would have gotten this one, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't... Yeah. What, 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 would you, what do you think you would have said? Um, I'm not going to say it yet, oh, okay. but I'll tell you. And you guys are great on the abbreviations. Which Ooh, we have, have a park and a land. Oh, Master Gracie taking the time to show off. I like that. <laughs> Uh, someone, I'm not going to say who, but their toe hurts, said a stupid California one, I bet. And they are wrong. <laughs> and they are actually wrong, which makes this kind of funny. Bad. It's a Florida one. Oh, hey, Mitch. How you doing? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I've been uh, working on it. <laughs> yes, this is actually not a California park or a stupid California park. This is, where, where can people find this, Gideon? This is in the exit of Space Mountain in the Magic Kingdom. Should have got it. See, you got to look around when you walk out these rides. Mm-hmm. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's right. I was just worried. <laughs> like, about that to... makes one right for the wrong reason. What did you think it was? I thought it was in the TTA. I thought it was that little part. Just oh, that's like hilarious. Raiders. So I'm like, oh, no, it's Magic Kingdom. And I then think... you're like, it's the end of Space Mountain. I'm like, oh, oops. I think I would have guessed Disneyland Intervention. I just don't recognize that, that exists. one bit. No, it does. I didn't say these were current. Oh, okay. oh yeah, I guess. <laughs> you don't do roller coasters? I did not know that. Who doesn't do roller coasters? Not only Oda. I don't do roller coasters, and I've seen it in person. Also, you, there's on the queue. You do queues. Yes. Because it's a good queue and a good exit. I did not know they didn't do roller coasters, though. Oh, Heights and Jessica don't mix. You're in the dark! <laughs> Which makes it scarier. You're not high. You're not even high. This mm. show... Oh, wait. This show needs more Rebecca hollering from the other... <laughs> Who said that? Denzel. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Good job. What's that? What? what? Hey, <laughs> it's also frustrating because the TV is a few seconds yeah. behind because you guys are live here, right? Yes, we are live. <laughs> Remember we'd go to a baseball game and I was worried that I would follow it on the on the phone and I would say that <laughs> the phone would spoil the game for me. Dad used to say that to me. Oh, I want to watch it on my phone, but I'm worried it'll spoil it. <laughs> Fun fact, if you're filming something, the thing you're filming has to happen first. I sure, it took me a moment, I realized, but for a moment I thought, oh no, I'm going to watch the game cast, and it's going to tell me what happens before I get a chance to see it in person. 
Madame Leota Remember, cried. One skill. One skill. Madame Leota <laughs> cried on Dubbo, Soren, and Splash Mountain. I'll pass oh. on the scarier one. Like recently? I mean, I'm, I say that as if I'm being offensive because I am, but I don't mean to be. <laughs> like, I'm sure. Like recently? Or as a child? It's so psychotic now. <laughs> like recently? Hi. Did you know like recently? <laughs> What's the title? You look like a horror movie clown. I am. Ah, oh, Donna loves when Rebecca joins in, fun and laughter. I love it too. I love it too. <laughs> Question number scoreboard says Geo's in first place, Tron all the way up in second place now. <laughs> Jay Champagne, Bops and the Bunny, and part or is it Bops and Bunny or Bops and the Bunny? And parts for Donna. Where'd you get the ba? Because like Smokey the Bear. <laughs> or Smokey Bear. Mom, which is it? All right, try again. I hear things like that just magically go away on their own. So next time you go. Yeah, and roller coaster and all that. Yeah. He got over says, it. Says the man, says the man who, who takes a small amount of medicine to keep himself from not being able to drive on a mountain. Good point. <laughs> what? You and your and your low dose. Oh, I've been taking chicken. that for like two years. I'm off it. <laughs> yes, I'm but good. that's what helps. It did help a lot. Yes. Yeah, Alexa. Oh, it sounds like I, I, don't, I, I can't see who said that. I think it was Gio. Gio yeah. yeah. Sounds like Don, um, not Donna. Madame Leona would love the fun wheel. Ride it in the swinging cart. Doobie, your dad yeah. made them take him off. We went around one time in the non-swinging cart, and we were supposed to go around again. When we got to the bottom, he was yelling at the guy, "I'll pay you if you let me out of here. You have to let me out." And he let me out. He didn't yep. even charge me. Yep. <laughs> I don't think he can charge you. <laughs> not legally. <laughs> All right, let's move on to question number four. There's 11 questions here, by the way. Which Disney park is this? I love this photo so much. This is a great photo. Is, I think this, is this my photo? I don't know. It's, no, it's from our, our library. You may have taken it, but it was on our camera. Okay, okay. They definitely know I I have taken a photo like this. See, this is cropped. So I don't, oh, really? It's not tight. Well, it could have been a tight photo. Oh, okay. But, uh, I know I've taken a photo of this from this angle, because I think it looks absolutely hilarious when you're looking at it like this. Is he wearing a Santa hat there? It looks what's like what? What's that little hump in the back of his head? His yeah. neck? It looks kind of like Godzuki. Godzuki? The cookie? The, like, you got the baby a, Godzilla. Oh, you guys abbreviate. I didn't count. I couldn't. Yeah. Too much abbreviating. Yeah, it's not that bad. I have to click on all these. You, you should have made them answers. I should have. I'm an idiot. I just don't know why I didn't think That's of right. that. I literally, when I that did is it, right. I did not think of abbreviations. Uh, Mitch went on the swinging ones and told my friend, <laughs> wouldn't it be great if it, <laughs> if it was like 1941, I'd rather be on the swinging ones than the, than the stationary ones. Gio said, stared into his soul, and he typed the wrong answer. <laughs> so this is not, did anyone say DCA? No, uh, no one no. No one even knows who Dinosaur Jack is. Yeah, he has yeah. the sunglass shack. But he was a rounded, he was a rounded face, like like more like a Flintstones dinosaur. He was also pink and then later blue or green. I'm sorry. I think he was green. I think his face was more. It's rounded. she, isn't it? It is Gertie. Gertie's Gertie. a she. I thought Gertie was a she. I think Gertie's a. But she. you said he, and so I just went with it. I yeah, I just assumed it was a dinosaur, though. I don't no, but I think Gertrude. Well, Jurassic I think Gertie, Park. Then. I think Gertie is short for Gertrude. Oh, I just thought like like when you're a mean looking animal, you must be a boy. Like dogs are. I've never and, seen and the movie Jurassic females. Park or Jurassic yes, or the Lost girls. World Jurassic Park yeah, or Jurassic Park. <laughs> that was fiction or Jurassic World. <laughs> so what's this? Look at this face. That is not the face of a girl. I'm telling you, Gertie is short, short, is like was been considered short for Gertrude. I think most people would think of it as having been a girl. Whatever happened to the name Gertrude? When was the last time you had a Gertrude? Uh, I don't know for sure. I'm, I'm checking. It's on the way of the dodo. Oh, uh, Nathaniel got dancing with C-3PO. I do not remember this line, but I did used to feel this way. I mean, used to, as in, you know, still do. Yeah, I don't remember that, though. Okay. okay. Good night, Bloom. Scoreboard. Good night, Bloom. Tron is all the way up in first place now. Got him. Got the consolation magnet in the first one, and now it's going for the outright win. Way to go! Gertie's a she. Schneb says proclaim Gertie's a she, as if he is the definitive word on this. I don't believe you. Who are you? <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have some. Right. Who are you? Gertie, the dinosaur. Oh, it's from a 1914 film. Apparently. 
Uh, I bet you there is. They don't oh. even say in the thing. Is Gertie the dinosaur girl? Uh, Gertie was an endearing female dinosaur. Yes. Why are we gonna? Why are we trusting that website? Uh, okay, we finally have a definitive word. Oh no, Mr. Dinosaur. Tony Man. Betty, our vice president in charge of animation, of which Gertie is, and an actual dinosaur handler and it's and hatcher. True. It's true. Says Gertie is very much a girl. I don't know how he can say very much, maybe in his travels, <laughs> but Gertie is a girl. It is definitive. Thank you, Tony. Based on the film, Gertie the Dinosaur. Re- okay, but is it a girl in the film? I mean, is there something in the film that makes a point of saying Gertie's a girl? That's what I want to know. Let me know, Tony. Question number five. You should ask the people at the ice cream place. Is, is the dinosaur you said a girl? Which Disney park see, is this? See if they know the answer. I feel like people are going to say girl because that's like one of the zeitgeist. I just want to know, is it definitive or presumption? I have not seen the movie. Is it a movie or a short? Is it, I mean, a, as short as a, a, a movie. Short. Yes, twelve. Movie minutes stands long. for moving picture, so it's, it's as long as it's a moving twelve thing. Minutes. Twelve minutes is still a movie. It's a short movie. And her full name is Gertrude Corey. It's a Siri. Siri is not a thing. All Siri is doing is googling. That's not definitive. The only definitive answer either comes from the 1914 movie mm-hmm. or from a creator of the 1914 movie. Wait, wait, wait. Time out, time out, time out. So if you ask someone at Space at Birth what color Space at Birth is, you take that as fact. Oh, yeah. But you won't take it as fact if you ask the first people who worked the ice cream place yeah. inside of the dinosaur. That's right. Why? Because one of them favors me. <laughs> Which Disney park is this? Let's get through some answers. I keep forgetting i got to answer these things. Boom, 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 boom. Master Gracie typing it all out again. Boom, boom. Nope. 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 All right. The correct answer here. Did you know this one, Gideon? I did. Right away. This I knew is, exactly. This is Disneyland Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln, the entrance queue. I don't know why I said that. This is uh, the Walt Disney Story portion where they give you history of important things like America and Capitol buildings. It's a silent film. This okay. is one of the cards. Be a good girl and bow to the audience. Why does it say Gertie at the bottom? Because his name in the middle. Are you sure that's not Gertie yes, saying that? Yes, I am sure. <laughs> Tony, Tony's saying something too. Because see, next thing that happens is Gertie bows to the audience. I'm starting to be convinced. <laughs> there was a live actor in the theater of the vaudeville act interacting with Gertie and referred to her as Wow, Tony. Yeah. Tony, you have come through. This is why I have ever mentioned this my favorite person in the entire world. <laughs> hey mom, how do you feel? What does that mean? You just you just called Tony if you're pushing the white whole white Oh, yeah. well, I mean, outside of mom. Everyone knows you and mom are my absolute favorite people. Oh, uh, okay. Your poor mom. Uh. Gio thought it was the gingerbread display at Epcot. Oh. Uh. Me too. Oh, really? Yeah, because of the angle. Yeah, me too. I was like, oh, they're being tricky. Nope. It's going to be that gingerbread house. I thought some people might think call the president. But... Uh, I'm not sure if you knew the gingerbread house. He did. Apparently, I did. Yeah. Although, no, not Expo tickets. No one got Expo tickets. We got Disney Ultimate Fan Event tickets. Yeah. They aren't. They weren't selling any Expo tickets. Kidder's got a fun fact. Timon and Pumbaa's Virtual Safari 2.0 features an elephant named Gertie. Oh, cute. Why was that not a dinosaur? <laughs> Make it. Was Gertie a boy or a girl? A <laughs> Question number six. Lucky was also a dinosaur, Mitch. Yeah. I like how it's also in Virtual Safari 2.0. Not the original. The sequel. <laughs> All right, Jellystone is in first place now. Champagne, Bobs and Bunny, or Bobs and the Bunny, Master Gracie, and Tron now in fifth, down four spots. Here we go, question number six. Which Disney park is this? That rhymes. Question number six, which Disney park is this? I gotta go get a fix from a guy named Rix. <laughs> On Route 66? On Route 66. Well, no, but 6 is what we're rhyming with. Oh, I didn't realize that's what you're rhyming with. I was so confused. <laughs> but we can get our kicks. Yeah. With two big sticks. <laughs> and candle wicks. As you enjoy some Twix. Yeah. <laughs> and on, and that we heat with candle wicks. <laughs> I'm going to do some tricks. <laughs> Watch some flicks. Magnets you'll lick. Magnets you flicks. 
Like, oh, that's a bad idea. Let's mix it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll crash it, Nix. Oh, that, that's a winner. All right. Oh, man, you guys got this one. Do you I, remember I, Mixoplex? They make... <laughs> say it. That makes sports picks. <laughs> I can't believe you know who that is. Of course. I'm shocked. <laughs> I, learned, <laughs> I, learned, I learned something new about you. <laughs> got to listen, eat some Chex Mix. Got to listen to Stevie Nicks. There we go. Keep them coming. Thank Route 66. Guys. That's right. <laughs> We're a bunch of hicks. <laughs> And the correct answer is Disney's Animal Kingdom. It is the place in Animal Kingdom where you see this statue. <laughs> it's right outside of the Life former, of Wonder yeah, stage. the former up show. They just didn't get rid of them. <laughs> Kyle Oldman, a yeah. name I've never seen, chimes in. Thank you very much. Got to carry heavy bricks. <laughs> Thank you. <guys>. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well done. Wipe some pics. Thank you, Nana. Um, write write letters with some bics. <laughs> what? Oh, nice. Okay, bic pens. Bic That's pen. the type yeah, of pen. Way before your time. <laughs> Sit around in our kicks. Oh. <laughs> wrong questions will fix. You mark me correct, but I was wrong. Where's Donna? Oh, you're right, Donna. DCA and DAK are two different things. It's okay. It's okay. Look at her fessing up, too. There's slack for that, Donna. <laughs> oh, you you get that. a point, then. You get a point. Sometimes no, we that just, was that one quiz. Sometimes we just charitably give points to people. That was the one quiz where we gave uh, Chex the dog for ticks. Oh. Yeah, I'm coming in with the PSA. <laughs> <laughs> the more you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, you guys are quicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was about to say oh, that one, Kyle. Oh, good, Kyle. Kyle, very good. I was good. about to say that. Very oh, good. Very good. <laughs> I have one. Yeah, that's where I have, uh, which I don't do anymore. Juby's. I have too oh. many domains. Juby's next chapter. I'm going to have to make a new mix. We have a great time here, Kyle. An absolute great time. And sometimes there's trivia. All right. Uh, the scoreboard after six questions. Going to have dinner of flea oh. and chick. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> not re do not do that, everybody. That does not seem like very Laughing healthy. Laughing Place does not recommend having flea and tick for dinner unless you are a dog. Uh, we're still on question six. Madam Hill is like Disney World. I can't <laughs> Rix. Move along. I want to go to bed. Yes, Rix was a good one. Can't play drums with that. What about your sticks? Very good. <laughs> keep them coming, people. Keep them coming. Our goal is to keep Madam Leona up till midnight. Keep them coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're only 20 minutes away. Uh, okay, uh, question number seven coming up here. Which park is this? Tough one, tough one. This is very tough. This is one of the ones I got wrong. This is, yeah, this one you got wrong. I'm wondering if Rebecca would get this. Always right. need my DTL fix. I 100% know Kyle would get this right because we spent multiple shows talking about this on our morning show. <laughs> Wix on question six with pickups. So Jason going for the combination. Way to go, Jason Champagne. I am not even sure what I'm looking at here. Donna always needs my DTL fix. Smash that like button and, and something that rhymes with six. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking... Mm. That snack is giving me the icks. No, it's yummy. Mm -mm. The photo doesn't look good. No, oh, that top part of it does. The bottom looks sick. The yes. fact that it's starting to make me sick. Schneb says, someplace I need to go soon. Well, you guys know what this is? I mean, is this like some sort of big signature <sighs> item I should If you happen to be around when this was released, okay, you would see, remember. I, I don't I mean around like at Epcot. I mean just paying attention to Disney News. Mitch says, "Do it quick." Disney made a big deal out of this. Yeah. Drink some oh, Nesquik. Oh, is this that, that bread thing? That thing at Creations. No, or... that had the name that was so challenging. Don't even know how to pronounce it. Yeah, but, it has a, okay, but you okay. can tell it has the multiple layers. As they show you making it. Yeah. Okay. Disney made a big deal out of this. Drink some Nestle Quicks. Mm. 
Madame Leota said, I'm a quitter. I'll go to bed. Wow, we can't keep oh, you up. Poor Madame Leota. But we I can try. Though. We can try. So, she didn't say she is. She just said she would. So, um, so this must be Epcot. Then. So, yes, this is indeed Epcot. Does anyone remember the name of this thing? I can't remember what it was called. But they made such a big deal out of it, how they are able to make it at this new restaurant. And you can go there and watch them make it. And we, I think we got one. It was quite yummy. Though. Kyle has a tight question. Is Disney Park food expensive? Uh, relative to movie food or ball game food, no. Relative to Safeway, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> relative to McDonald's, uh, absolutely. Um, Kyle has it. It my... is the bomb kitchen, the bomb kitchen. But not as expensive compared to our McDonald's, as our local McDonald's, as it might be compared to a McDonald's For sure. I visited in areas not where we live. <laughs> It is not a biscotti, so it is at the new rest, the new um, quick service that replaced the electric umbrella. Is it Creation? Connect, no, no, it's no, no, Connection. No, no. Connection. Connection. Yeah. Connection yeah. Theatery. It's one of them. Or Creation. We always forget. And it is quite yummy. Connection. And it is called a Baumkuchen, and you can go get one. Which apparently yes. is German tree cake. A German tree cake. Which, um, when they when they give it to you, they sing O Tannenbaum for you. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Murphy Birdie. Wow. I thought it looked like the thing they sold at Animal Kingdom for a while, but... The animal, animal poop. The animal poop. The, at the bottom there, I thought it was like something and the animal poop. Someday we're going to look back and go, remember when people used to think they sold animal poop? But they actually did. They really did. Well, no, they sold... Candy. The, yes, that they delightfully... Ooh, that's really creepy. I just opened my Disney World app and it opened straight up to Connections Eatery. <gasps> it's listening. Uh, did you give her permission to listen to your conversation? That's funny. So the correct answer here is Epcot, Connections Eatery. Five of you got that right. It was a toughie. Very tough. Uh, Geo said they're yummy. Guardians of the Chocolate Sauce. If someone said that. It's a Black Forest bomb kitchen, by the way. Mm. Not to be confused with that waffle. <sighs> so after the tough Epcot question, Jellystone is in first place. Woo! Bobson the Bunny, Master Gracie, Parks for Donna. And Tron, rounding out the top five. We're currently at a convenience store, by the way. Is this the first time we've ever played this game when none of the trio were in the top five? Oh, I learned the 7-Eleven tr logo triggers uh, the mom of a friend of mine. Because all the letters are capitalized except for the last M. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Ooh, Superman was not good for that one. Way. Okay, question number eight. Here's your picture. Right there. Right there. Which Disney park is this? Remember, the thing to focus on are the people. Which Disney park has these people? Well, <laughs> we can gather Happy some. Easter, man. Well, we can Enjoy gather some it. clues. So, my mom is wearing a Disney World sweatshirt, so that could mean something. On the other hand, I'm wearing an ET sweat uh, jacket, and I know we are not in Universal, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> In other words, that may or may not be extremely helpful. Why wasn't it named 712? Because originally they were open from 7 to... Oh, no, the fact that I'm wearing a Disney World sweat, a, a spirit jersey is quite helpful to the to where I am. Master Gracie? Well, With the completion it? again. The loser wheel number is not much of a loser wheel number. It's fifth. Gio, you Gio, you are not one that looks at the loser wheel. You, you play for championships, Gio. You're like the Patriots. <laughs> We play for championships. Anything less is a failure. And we don't accept failure around here. Correct answer here. Where exactly are you in this picture? I am in Web Slinger, a Spider-Man adventure located at Avengers Campus yeah. in Disney, California Adventure. And who are you there with? My mom. And? Who's right here cropped out so it didn't say right above it, Spider? Uh, you, I'm yeah. guessing. <laughs> I am in this picture. Look at me with my. No, please grade them all. Who did I know? Goggles up there. Uh, Mitch is on the loser wheel. I forgot to play. That's okay. So yes, this is that attraction. You can see it there. Gideon's got the 3D glasses on. That could have helped you. Or you could have just thought he was wearing sunglasses that day. Bobson the bunny is in first place now. Way to go. I'm gonna sell sunglasses that look like. 3D glasses. Yeah, what if they are 3D glasses? That would not be good. I know a trick. Even without glasses, I can see in 3D. 
Really? Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. You can't watch the shows on TV, though, right? No, no, no. Uh, Master Gracie, Jellystone, where is Geo and Parks for Donna? We've got two questions left to go, folks. Um, except we actually have this one. <laughs> Web Slingers Dole. Question number nine. Which Disney park is this? Little tricky for you here, folks. Jason Champagne has not been to DCA since 2001. You are long overdue for a West Coast trip. Yes, it does. Yes, Jason, you are overdue. You should go. DCA is an awesome park. Not as good as it was back in 2001, but it's an awesome park. I feel like that's a very debatable fact. Not to me. The original DCA was one of the most unique parks Disney's ever made. It was very unique. That wow. counts. Gracie, this is why you're watching me. Oh, yeah, someone said that before, and I thought, what did I see me mean by that? But now I get it. Mitch says Disney California Adventure Park. By the way, old DCA does actually look pretty cool. It was. I think it, I, I think it was misguided, but I think the concept itself, if they had done it slightly better, could have been a really good park. I can see why people were disappointed. I mean, you'd be an idiot not to. But if you accepted what it was, it was cool. It had it was so different from Disneyland. It had stuff that was just nowhere. It was an AP's dream. If I were paying a hundred bucks to go there, or whatever it costs to go for to a park for one day, then I could be going. Well, why am I here when I can be across the way? It could not compete with Disneyland. But for an annual pass holder or for an additional day on a multi-day trip, it was pretty cool. It was it was something different and kind of special. Jason Champagne says, World of Color is the second prettiest thing I've ever seen. Andrea Champagne is the first. Aww, that's so sweet. How sweet. Very sweet. That's, that's how you should treat your Tony wife. Tony probably agrees that's with that statement. That's how you should talk about your wife. I think the last part probably was. <laughs> Tony loves World of Color so much he actually puts it above me. Yes, 23 years of weird stuff like Superstar Limo, the puns. It was a different kind of park, and it was a lot of fun. All right, but this is not DCA. Gideon, what's this? Disney Hollywood Studios. Anything kind of give you a hint to this? Well, this is the queue for Mickey and Minnie's Celebrity Real Life. And Formerly yeah. the queue for the Great Mickey. And to me, at least, this lamp kind of looks like the Chinese theater. It does very much so. Yeah. Only four of you got that right. What a disappointment you all are. That's so mean. <laughs> It's not. <laughs> they were disappointed in me when I Imagine said Imagine looking Motors out sponsor. to a crowd of however many people and saying to their face, I am so disappointed in all of you, or whatever you said. All right, so after nine questions, Bops and the Bunny still in first place. Master Gracie, Jellystone National Park, where, oh, where, oh, where is Geo, and Uncle... Orville, rounding out the top five. Uncle Orville got that one right, moved into the top five, making the trio respectable. <clears throat> Two questions to go. The question, as you know, is what Disney park is this? Ah, oh, tricky, tricky. We don't end up in that part of the queue. That's a good point. That's a good point. Didn't Disney hire someone to come up with all those Cali puns? I think they did, actually. I think I remember reading that. Some of them were very, all of them were very funny. Some of them were, well, at least one of them was, would not fly today. I'll just say that. Uh, do, 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 wow. Gideon got this so fast. I did? No, but you did get it. You thought of it. I think you thought about this one for a second. Yeah. This one I definitely wasn't sure of um, where it was. My favorite part of this picture, can you see the bird on top? Is this near that bathroom that flooded? Yes. This is that trip. Okay. That's when I took this picture. Oh, yeah. What, okay. I should feel like I should tell the story. Of the well, bathroom. Go for it. So, we go into the bathroom. I use it. And I flush the toilet. And the water doesn't stop flowing. That's about all you need to know. And when that produces a flood. Yes. When you found someone and let them know, hey, bathroom's flooding. Mm-hmm. Uh, Schnebs, can we accept this animal... Kingdom? I don't think kingdom. Kingdom. 
Who's it done? Oh yeah, this is over there by um, Yaki Yeti. Okay, can we get a ruling from from our YouTube fans over there if this is an acceptable answer? I'm going to type it in the chat here. <laughs> you're so weird. Is this that, an acceptable answer? That's not even answer? what it is. You got it wrong. Oh, you're right. Okay, never mind. That's not it. There you go. Is this an acceptable answer? Kingdom. Animal kingdom. I'm not kingdom. sure if we should mark that right or not. Yes, 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 yes. yes. But this... <laughs> So this is a beautiful fountain over by Yak and Yeti. It is over by Yak and Yeti. In the outdoor. Yeah, exactly. You told people silly and didn't count. But I have to understand what you mean. And King of the Moon is kind of weird. I think we all <laughs> know exactly what. All right. We're going to accept it, Schnabs. This time. Oh, boy. Especially since you couldn't even misspell it <laughs> properly the first time. <laughs> Yeah, as Schnebs points out, that's what happens when you're typing quickly because you're running out of time. What are you running out of time? Oh, running out of time. Question. Yeah. Oh, I think you're running out of time for. I don't know. Maybe I have something to do after the quiz. Like, oh, I got to type this and go take the baby for a walk or something. I don't know. <laughs> so why are you typing the questions Baby's got to go potty. No matter. We got to move out anyway. Remember when we used to take you for a walk to go potty? No. That was the golf guy's fault. <laughs> <laughs> what? We take the dogs out. We just let the, the babies go. I'm sorry, what? You mixed me up with a dog? That sounds and sits now. I'm a dog to you? Not anymore. Oh, uh, Don is asking me if there was a launch. Probably. Hey, Dad. I saw there was a lot. There's supposed to be the, one of the final Delta Fours was supposed to happen sometime well, over the last. While we were watching TV, I saw a thing that there was a launch count. Hey, hey, Dad, I have a question. Mm -hmm. You're sponsored by Mill Motors. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You are the last person to, to say anything about it. Wow. So. Wow, Denzel. <laughs> it's so true. I thought we were tight. No, you are the last person. All right. I, we accepted it. I just wanted to make sure. All right. Final question. We are No, scoreboard. Sorry. Bob's in the bunny. Oh, it's dropped into third place. Master Gracie's in first place now. Wow. One more quiz. But, One more question. I gotta tell it's going to be close. This last one is worth 2,000 points. It is still a little bit of game. You're getting so lazy. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's worth 1,000 points. Here we go. Question number 11. I forgot to change it to 2,000. Which Disney park is this? Rebecca, do you know? This is a toughie. This is one, the only one that Gideon simply did not get. No, it wasn't. I didn't get another one, too. Okay. It's the only one that Gideon simply did not get other than the other ones he did not get. Uh, the answers are not coming in quickly on this one. This is a hard one. Uh, the correct answer is not Halloween Horror Night. Great guess. <laughs> Great guess. Uh, it is not Nightmare Fuel This Late. <laughs> These are all coming from the trio. <laughs> Space half clown. It's funny. If I took this picture. You don't know, do you? No, I took this picture. Head. You were literally sitting right next to me. This thing was right in front of our face, and you have blocked it out of your mind. Uh, seriously? <laughs> what, what, <laughs> it is it, not. Okay, so these are the answers from the trio. Did it persist by me, or was it like something that would come and, and do something and then go? I don't. I think it just persists by you. Okay. So the trio's answers are Halloween Horror Nights, Nightmare Fuel This Late, and Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, only two people, three people got this right. This is from uh, Disneyland, and this is... Oh, that music, that parade with the music? Yes, the parade with the music. <laughs> oh. The name opposed, is escaping me right now. As opposed to the quiet... Oh, I know it. Oh, it's that magic music Magic Happens. Parade. This is Magic Happens. Wait, this is Magic Happens? Yes. Yes. Oh, I thought that was something older. No, nope. this is Magic Happens. One of the characters Oh, you were thinking happens. of uh, the, what, a sensational? Yeah. No, this is Magic Happens. Wow. This is the Coco section, I'm pretty sure. It's like well, the people, the, I think it's like the people who look like the colorful animals in the cocoa section. I'll show you. Oh, oh, yeah. So it's kind of somewhat undead. Yeah. So three of you got that right. Let us see what that does to our final. Okay. This is exciting. Wow. In third place, Jellystone. In second place, Master Gracie. And in first place, Bob's and Bunny! Bunny. Woo! And was it fifth place? Yeah. All right. So, Bob's and the Bunny, I believe I know who you are. And 
Parts for Donna. I definitely know who you are. Um, Donna, give yourself a maglet. Bob's in the bunny. Write me, TriviaLastPlace.com, and we will get you a magnet. We're not done yet, Madam Leota. You can't leave. No, no. Wow. You have to stick around for five more minutes. Five more minutes. There we go. We have, a, we have very important matters to attend to. Yeah. For example. Right, congratulations to our winners. Games. That was a fun one. Yeah, we can do our games. Uh, we should do Disneyland. Okay, so uh, for those of you who don't know, sometimes in the show we'll do a game where we have to go back and forth naming um, something from a list of things. However, we cannot repeat something that's already been said. We can't take too much time to guess. Unless we kind of just give up partway through and just realize we're just trying to name as many as we can, almost teamworking it. So we doing I still today? can't believe that's from Magic House. Okay, so, yeah, so yeah. I'm thinking we do current Disneyland attractions. Okay. Actually, all time Disneyland attractions. Oh, this is going. But no shows, only attractions. So like a, a theater, like a 40 show would count, but not like a sit down in the theater it's after. Continuously. Yeah. yeah, yeah continuously running. Okay, go for it. Okay, I'll start. Baby Croc Explorer can do this. Um, if attraction changed names, can you say the original? Is it but the same attraction? If I mean, I guess you can say it. Okay, but I'm not going to. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, Space Mountain. Uh, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. Disneyland Railroad. Gadget Go Coaster. Flying Saucer. Chip and Dale's Gadget Coaster. Country Bear Jamboree. Roger Rabbit Cartoon Spin. Country Bear Playhouse. I mean, uh, Country Bear um, Vacation Hoedown. Country Bear Christmas. I love your covered attractions. I hate you. <laughs> but they renamed it for mine, and they changed the show. Um, mine did it? No, they just played it at Christmas time without changing the name of the, of the attraction. Oh, did they not? Yeah. Oh, mom, mom. Did You're saying I'm wrong? I'm pretty sure there was a sign that, that, it, that showed that it was I think that. on the map there was... Uh, okay, anyway, okay. It's definitely a different show. Uh, Adventure Through Inner Space. Any chance of the audience? Autopia. Star Tours. Star Tours The Adventure Continues. Captain EO. A Mission to Mars. Space Mountain. I already said that. Oh, okay. And uh, Buzz Lightyear. Flight to the Moon. Why are you looking up? That's Look how up. I think. <laughs> okay. Motorboat Cruise. <laughs> um, Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage. Uh, um, Tomorrowland. Fantasyland Autopia. Submarine Voyage. Matterhorn. Junior Autopia. Um, Mark Twain River Boat. Major Autopia. Sailing Ship Columbia. Honey Mansion. Indian Jones Adventure. Uh, Swiss Family Treehouse. Pirates of the Caribbean. Tarzan's Treehouse. Star Wars Red Resistance. Adventureland Treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> what if Falcon Smugglers Run? We don't care at this point, Kyle. <laughs> Monsanto House of the Future. Well, I think the Monsanto House. Um, <laughs> Delta Dream Flight. <laughs> <laughs> well, God, Delta Dream. Um, Monsanto House Hall of Chemistry. Crane Bathroom of Tomorrow. <laughs> Kaiser Lerner of Hall of Fame. Clocks of the World. <laughs> the, 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 one, the dairy one. There's a dairy one. Okay. I don't remember what it was called. It was something dairy related. America the Beautiful. Mr. Toad. Wonders of China. Um... <laughs> um, Winnie the Pooh ride, Flight Circle, <laughs> America Sings, America Sing, no Intervention, <laughs> <laughs> People cheat? Mover. Did you cheat Jason out of a point and just put DL and you didn't do any Disneyland? Did I? Not not on purpose. Oh, Dad. Oh, Jason, oh, I'm on. sorry. I'm sorry. Got slack for that. Teacups. Te he put it in point. the chat. It's not slack. <laughs> it's the opposite of slack. I'm okay. sorry, Jason. Would sorry, that have Jason, made, I didn't catch it. Would that time. have made a difference? No. I mean, it would have in your heart, but not in the final. <laughs> <laughs> Tone, wait, why? Even if, even if you got a thousand points, you're oh. not even in the top five. Still, if you want a maglet. Of course. If you want a maglet, Jason, trivialaplace.com. Whenever we make a mistake, no, that's far too much. But <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like a maglet in this one, Jason, we'd be happy to give it to you. You may have vaulted up in the fifth place. Uh, Rocket Rod. So Lee's just looking. Monorail. Um, um, Fred Fred Gurley. <laughs> E.P. Ripley. Ward Kimball. Ernest Dust Marsh, right? That's one? Yeah. Um, I can't think of any others right now. So we'll go right in the back. Lily Bell. King Arthur Carousel. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Tinkerbell, which is one of the boats on Storybook Land. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Vehicle number two on Indiana Jones Adventure. <laughs> Casey Jr. <gasps> the other Casey Jr. Shirt. I don't know. It's a small world. Uh, it's a small world holiday. Ooh, good one. Uh, jung- j- jungle Cruise. Where I drive a car change today. Jingle Cruise. Oh, jeez. Also, they, they uh, text wh- the audience. Whatever they change Gadget Coaster to. I already said that. Oh, Keel Boat. Other Keel Boat. No. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Raft to Tom Sawyer Island. Tom Sawyer Island featuring Pirate Slayer. Tom Sawyer Island. <laughs> featuring Tom Sawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Pan's Flight. Frontierland Shooting Exposition. Or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Frontierland Shoot Shoot. Shoot Shoot. <laughs> Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Uh, Abraham Lincoln Moment <laughs> Show. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Omnibus. Ooh, uh, Fire Engine. Horseless Carriage. Or Strong Carriage. Well, that takes care of that. <laughs> <laughs> Great strategy. Backfire. Great strategy. Uh, at one time, it was just the Walt Disney story. No, Mr. Lincoln, tell me the Walt Disney story. By the way, it's the 1st of May, Donna. Um, can I say the Disney 100 exhibition? At <laughs> no. The Main Street Cinema. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. Um, oh, uh, the walk through Sleeping Beauty Castle. The, the, the carousel. Alice in Wonderland. Did you already say Carousel Progress? No. Carousel uh. Progress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, um... Whatever the Star Wars thing in that building is now. Astro Orbiter. Rocket Jet. Star Jets. That was Magic Kingdom. No. That yeah, was, it was okay, never fine. Star Jets. Okay. I win. I win. Wait, wait you've already. <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever the third name for it was. Because it changed the name like three times, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And so, like, skipped over moving so many times. I know. We don't care. <laughs> like... Jungle Cruise. Oh, we already said that. Yeah. I think we're just trying to name every Disney yeah. attraction ever. <laughs> we're good. We're good. Okay, we already got some in there. Right, we'll be back Tuesday, guys. Parking lot tram. Perfect. Mission to Moon. Flight to the Moon. I did those. Mission to Mars. Yeah. Oh, you already went all there, all those? Oh, I did Mission to Mars and Flight to the Moon. What was the third one? Oh, wait, no. There's no. There's no Mission to the Moon. Wasn't it Rocket to the Moon? Yes. Rocket to the Moon. Flight to the Moon. Oh, no, I'm not so sure. There were moon attractions. There were moon attractions. They involved moons. That's no moon. It was at the time. <laughs> We'll be back Tuesday. Skyway. Oh, Skyway, of course. Skyway to Tomorrowland. Skyway to Fantasyland. Oh, man. Matterhorn. Did we say Matterhorn? Yes, I said Matterhorn. Okay. Side A and B? No. The only one on the side. Tuesday, we'll do this again. I hope everyone has a fantastic Easter tomorrow. If uh, you're into having fantastic Easter's, if not, have a fantastic Sunday tomorrow. And don't forget to join us here. Tuesday, please, if you haven't already, take a moment, hit that like button. People tell me it helps the algorithm. Algorithms scare me, so I don't know if that's a good thing. And um, I think that's it. Good night. Thank you for joining us. Good night, Madam Leota. Hope you made it all the way till 12.03 a.m.